eight-year-old tortoise is trying to catch a female. His success suggests Charles was born to be a sprinter. It just took him 95 years to realise. I was always a very poor runner. I couldn't run. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a runner at all. The point was that um, I decided that it was about time to start something new. You can rebuild your body at old age. You can start something new at old age. You can even win a medal and break a record, regardless of age. Later this year, Charles hopes for another record at the World Masters Championships. At 95 years of age, the best could be yet to come. Chris Legg, BBC London News. Well, if that hasn't inspired you, I don't know what will. Uh, let's get a check on the weather with Wendy Harrell. Wasn't legend. he great? Legend. What a legend. He really was, yes. Uh, and what was also really great was the weather today. This is how it looked across London. Didn't you all enjoy it? I certainly did. Unfortunately, the sunshine disappears again tomorrow. Um, and this is why we've got high pressure today. That has kept things nice and clear for us through the day today. But edging in all the time is this stripe of cloud. Now, that's going to run into the high pressure. It will have all the rain killed off it, but it is going to be quite cloudy eventually throughout tomorrow afternoon. So tonight, though, we've still got the clear spells. We've still got the light winds. I suppose over parts of Essex and Hertfordshire, we could have one or two fog patches. And we may have just a touch of frost in a few spots as we go through the early hours of the morning, but it won't be widespread. Temperatures will be lower than last night, two or three degrees. Then we will have a chilly start to the day tomorrow, but we will have the best of the sun sunshine first of all but as I say it is going to start to cloud over gradually throughout the afternoon and the breeze will pick up as well so temperatures will be getting up to around 13 degrees but I think it will start to feel fresher as the day goes on and then we'll start to see one or two outbreaks of rain into the uh, evening time around about rush hour for Thursday morning, that cloud is still with us, and some of it will be low cloud at first. But as the day goes on, we will have some sunny spells breaking through just here and there, and it looks like it is going to be a largely dry day. Also, it's going to be on the mild side for Thursday, with temperatures getting up to around 13 degrees. Through Friday, well, it's a bit of a headache, really, because we have a weather front that drifts in towards us and then starts to come back again and that looks like it is going to bring us a little bit of rain into the morning but it's a bit of a headache for the forecast that one generally it's a cloudy day it might be that we have some rain first thing in the morning and then we've got a southeasterly breeze for the weekend so i think we're going to see a lot of cloud unfortunately um it's a bit of a shame we wanted the sunshine didn't we it might change <laughs> wendy thank you just recapping the day's main headlines for you. The senior police officer in charge during the Hillsborough football disaster in